that puts him with some of the greats. Scholars say this puts him along with Abram and Jacob, who become Abraham and Israel. Here's the good news. Discipleship, lesson number two. You don't start how you finish. How you are right now, how and when you met Jesus is not how you're going to be. I've told this story too many times, but I'm going to tell it again. I hated my first year of gymnastics as a high schooler. And for one reason, conditioning. For again, those who are not aware of what conditioning is, it is a time where they would take all the first year gymnasts out early and these coaches would run you ragged, push-ups, sit-ups, all sorts of exercises and movements to where when you left, you didn't know if you could lift your arms. And when you went to bed and woke up, you were like, I'm surely not getting out of bed this morning. And I don't care if you were like me, who's this was your first major sport, or somebody who's been doing sports all their life, they're going, that was rough. I don't know if I want to do that again. And you did it every day, six days a week for an entire season. And you, if you ask any freshman, they're going, I swear, they're just twirling their mustaches, those coaches. <laughs> Looking at our pain with glee, going, ah, I have all this power to do this. But the truth is, the coaches see us not as who we are, but who we will be. They know us not as the freshmen, but as the seniors of the program 